so here the problem number 2 is off the second complement law is of mu complement is equals to 5 so here we have to prove mu dash is equals to the null set so since we are going to prove it by means of the element wise so we have to prove two conditions say here to prove mu dash is equals to 5 5 so here we have to prove two conditions so those were so one is of mu dash must be the subset of the empty set that is 5 and the second condition the second case is of phi must be the subset of the universal set that is complement of the universal set that is mu dash then now we are going to consider the case number 1 so in our case number 1 we are going to prove the first one as mu dash the subset to the empty set that is phi since we are going to prove it by means of the element wise proof so here let us consider one element x belongs to so here mu dash but here we know one formula that is a complement is given by means of mu minus complement of a so here a must be subtracted from the universal set so here based upon this so here similarly mu complement will be given by means of from universal set we have to subtract since we are finding the complement of mu say this particular mu must be subtracted from this universal set mu so here based upon this principle or the formula so we can deduce this mu dash or the complement of universal set is a subset of the empty set then now so here x belongs to mu complement implies so here x belongs to instead mu dash so we can replace it by means of mu minus mu then now the next logical step will be off so x belongs to this mu and here mu is subtracted therefore x does not belongs to this second mu that is the universal set then now x belongs to mu and x does not belongs to mu say here it does not have any meaning so therefore that implies x will belongs to the empty set that is phi so from this it is clear that so here then we have so here lhs is of x belongs to mu dash so implies so rhs is of x belongs to phi so here the element which is present x element which is present in mu dash is also the element of the empty set that is 5 therefore here mu dash the, the set mu dash must be the subset of empty set that is 5 so here therefore we can write it as mu dash is the subset of 5 so from this it is clear that we have proved the first condition that is mu dash the subset of 5 let us consider this as the equation number 1 or the condition number 1 then now in the similar manner we have to prove the second case that is phi must be the subset of mu dash then now case number 2 see now case number 2 we have to prove phi the subset of mu dash so yeah since we are going to prove by means of the element wise so here we have to consider one element that is x which belongs to this empty set that is phi so here in order to get phi that is the empty set we can write it as x belongs to mu and x does not belongs to mu so here belong to mu universal set and does not belongs to mu therefore we will get here an empty set then now in the next logical step we can write it as so that implies so here x belongs to so here x is present in mu so here does not belongs to mu so we can subtract this mu but here we know so here a dash is equals to mu minus a so here mu dash is equals to mu minus mu so here instead of mu minus mu we can replace it by means of mu dash then now so here that implies x belongs to mu dash so here the reason is of since mu complement is equals to mu minus mu so or a complement is equals to mu minus complement of a so here a must be subtracted from the universal set so here mu complement complement of mu so here mu is subtracted from the universal set that is mu so based upon these reasons say here i wrote mu minus mu as mu complement then now here then we have the lhs so here the lhs is of x belongs to empty set so that implies x belongs to mu dash the elements which are belonging to the empty set are also the elements of the universe mu dash therefore the empty set will be the subset of so mu dash that is the on the right hand side so here therefore we can write it as therefore phi is the subset of mu dash so from this it is clear that so let us consider this as the equation number 2 or the condition number 2 so from two conditions 
that is from equations 1 and as well as 2 the first one as so here mu dash the subset of empty set this has the equation number 1 and the equation number 2 as so phi the empty set is the subset of every set so we can write it as phi is the subset of mu dash so here let us consider this as the equation number 2 since phi, mu dash is the subset of phi and phi is the subset of mu dash that is lhs the subset of rhs and rhs also the subset of lhs therefore lhs and rhs must be equated so here hence we will get it as mu dash is equals to phi so in this manner we have proved the another complement law so here that is mu dash equals to phi so in the similar manner let us go for the third one that is phi dash is equals to mu So under the problem number 3, so we have to prove phi complement is equals to the universal set that is mu. So in order to prove phi dash equals to mu, mu so here first of all we have to prove two conditions. So those were the first one is of phi must be the subset of phi dash must be the subset of mu and the second case as so here mu must be the subset of phi dash. So I am going to consider the case number 1. So in our case number 1, so I am going to prove the phi dash empty set complement of empty set as the subset of the universal set that is mu. Then now since we are going to prove it by means of the element wise, we have to consider one element that is x which belongs to phi dash. But here we know that a complement is given by means of mu minus a so here complement of a so here this particular set a must be subtracted from the universal set so here similarly we can write it as phi complement is equals to since we are finding the complement of this empty set that phi particularly that empty set must be subtracted from the universal set that is mu so based upon this principle so we are going to solve phi dash as the subset of mu then now so here x belongs to phi dash can be written as so that implies x belongs to instead of phi dash so here phi dash we can write it as mu minus empty set then now the next logical step will be of that implies x belongs to mu and x does not belongs to this empty set since x is not present in this empty set so here we can write it as only that belongs so that implies x belongs to only mu so here the next logical step will be of so here then we have the LHS is of so here x belongs to phi dash so that implies so here x belongs to mu so x is present in element set that is say x is belong x belongs to the complement of the empty set then x is also present in the universal set since the elements of the LHS are also the elements of the RHS therefore LHS will be the subset of RHS so in this manner we got phi dash the subset of mu so in this manner we have proved the first case that is phi dash equals to mu then now let us consider this as the equation number one then in the second case we have to prove in the reverse manner that is mu must be the subset of phi dash then now case number 2 see so in our case number 2 we have to prove the condition as mu must be the subset of this empty set that is phi dash complement of the empty set that is phi dash then now so in order to prove this condition that is mu is the subset of phi dash so first of all we have to prove the two conditions so here those two conditions are of one is of mu must be the subs so here we have to prove so here in order to prove this condition we have to assume so we have to assume one element which is x that belongs to the universal set that is mu so here let that element be so here let x belongs to this left hand set that is left hand set that is mu so here it can also be written as since x is belonging to mu we can write it as x belongs to mu and x does not belongs to the empty set so x is present in only universal set and x is not present in the empty set we can write it as only x belongs to universal set and whereas in the next logical step we can write it as so here x belongs to so here x is present in universal set and it is not present in the empty set we can subtract that phi empty set so here it gives us mu minus phi gives us x belongs to the universal set mu but it does not belongs to this empty set that is phi so here in the next logical step we know that 
So that implies x belongs to mu minus 5 can be written as phi dash. So here the reason is phi dash is equals to mu minus 5. So here since we are finding the complement of the empty set that empty set must be subtracted from the universal set just as in order to find out a complement. So here set a must be subtracted from from the universal set that is mu. So based upon this reason based upon this reason say so here then we have so then we have x belongs to mu so implies so here x belongs to so here phi dash so here the element which is present in x so element which is present the x belongs to universal set mu and the x is also belonging to phi dash the elements which are present in the universal set that is LHS are also the elements of the phi dash that is the complement of the empty set therefore the universal set must be the subset of phi dash so therefore mu is the subset of phi dash say so in this manner say we have proved the second case the mu universal set as the subset of the complement of empty set let us consider this as the equation number 2 so here from equations 1 and as well as 2 so here the first condition is of so phi phi dash the subset of mu as the first equation and mu the subset of phi dash as the second equation. So from these two equations it is clear that so phi is the subset of mu and mu is the subset of phi dash that is LHS is the subset of RHS and RHS is the subset of LHS. So from this it is clear that LHS is equals to RHS. So here therefore we can write it as so here phi phi dash will be equals to mu. So in this manner we have proved the last complement law which is phi dash equals to mu. So in this manner we have proved the part 2 complement class as a dash whole a complement whole complement is equals to a and mu complement is equals to empty set that is 5 and the complement of 5 that is phi dash is equals to mu. 